Welcome to the proof of concept video of the OpenEO Python client. This client connects with an OpenEO backend, uh, but before we can do that, we need to import it. This can be done with a single statement. Then we connect to the backend. Um, connections are represented by a session object. We specify the URL and load create the session. Once we have a connection with the backend, we can retrieve a layer or image collection. The backend that we use is the GeoPySpark backend deployed at Vito. It contains a number of layers, but the one we use here uh, contains 10 meter bands uh, for the Sentinel-2 satellite. All of the calls that we run here return immediately because they do not yet uh, execute something on the backend. So on our com image collection, we specify a date range filter and a bounding box filter. So we now have basically a time series of Sentinel-2 bands. Then we apply an NDVI function directly on those bands. The function is defined in plain Python and is applied to our input image collection and returns a new image collection that represents the NDVI time series. Finally, we convert the time series into a single image by applying a compositing algorithm. The algorithm available on this backend is the max time algorithm, which simply retains the maximum NDVI for each pixel. At this point we still have a, an image collection object, but do not yet have a result. So, we now want to send this representation to the backend and download this as a GeoTIFF. This can be done using the download function and we specify an output format. As you can see, this function also takes longer to, act, to run. Um, this is because the backend now actually needs to compute something. After about 20 seconds, our result has been returned. So let's try plotting it. We used the Rastrio library to read our GeoTIFF and plot it the pixels using a simple color map. Another way to analyze data is by extracting point or polygon time series. Currently the client supports point time series and, uh, and we run this on an image collection which contains data for more dates. After about 4 seconds you get a result uh, and we can again plot this in a graph. As you can see, we got results starting in 2015 and ending now in 2018. Uh, and we see a nice uh, time series containing some seasonality. Thanks for watching. This video demonstrated the core concepts of the OpenEO project and the Python client implementation.